Hiya, Shadow of Doubt. Let's get started. We're not going to start where we left off last time. We're just going to do a new game. This is a generated city. I pre-generated. Uh, I used a mod to increase the density. It's a 4x4 city. I haven't done anything in it yet. And let's wait till it loads. We are also not going to do procedural murders, because I find them kind of easy. We're just going to do standard shit. Now, we have nothing. We have no money, nothing. Go down to City Hall. City Hall always shaped like this. Here we are. Now that we're in City Hall, let's raid some lockers. Now, lockers without names on them will always have passcode 0000. They're not always empty, despite what we're seeing right now. They have a chance of spawning low-level loot. I believe it's low-level. Okay, that one's open. Or that one's owned, I should say. Oh, there we go. Okay, how much money do we have? We have... 32 dollars. 32 crowns. Whatever they want to call them. Is that enough to get some picks? No, we need 50 for picks. Got an upgrade. What's this? Dove Plus. Uh, not right now, because that comes with some negatives. Okay, so this... Let's try this. So, 1934. That might have been a bad idea, locking myself in. <laughs> Syringe, that's not very much money. Now there should be about 700 people in this poison all over the place in this uh, city. Should be just as many poor people as there are rich people. And we should have a diverse cast of homeless people. Okay, how much money do I have now? I have... 93 crowns. Games encourage you too much to uh, be a criminal. I think games should uh, should encourage lawful behavior. Not not overly. Certainly not to the exclusion of fun. But you're supposed to be like an investigator. Okay, so now that we've got some paper clips and lock picks and bullshit like that, let's go to the 18th floor, because the 19th... I think the 19th floor on this building will definitely be roof access. So here's the 18th floor. Let's look at the 19th floor. Yeah, this is roof access. So we have a place that we can jump off of if we want to. See? Oh, and look, all of the buildings are tall. There's not very many short buildings. And I guess that one has roof access as well. And that one down there. I wish I had a spyglass or something. Okay, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut the lights off. I'm gonna pack this. I say I don't do tutorials, yet I'm doing this in a very tutorial-y sort of way, instead of just playing the game. I'm sorry, I don't do tutorials. I'm actually just playing the game, but trying to narrate my play as well. That door closed? That door's closed. Oh, I don't have a co code breaker. Now, the owner could be in here. Although turning off the master security switch also turns off the la laser sentries. Ooh. I don't know what that one was. Doesn't actually say. Yeah, it doesn't actually say which one this is. I think I'm going to leave the light off for now. Ooh. More discs. Rings are not that uh, much money, so I'm not going to even bother trying to grab it. Oh, shit. Okay, birth certificate. People's passwords are often birthdays. In real life, they are too. Like, they'll be father's date of birth and wife's month and your year and date and things like that. Instead of just using a password manager. You only really need one password, and that's to the password manager. You just make sure the password manager is offline, and you don't have to worry about it. Can I hide under here? No, I can't hide under here, so if they come in here, I'm dead. 
Nope. Okay. Let's get the F out of here. Your door is opening and closing. Oh, there they are. Okay, let's not push to let our luck and get the fuck out of here. Now, because uh, they can't get out, they're just like walking back and forth. They don't deal with uh, obstruction very well. Okay, let's look at our spoils for a second here. We've got three discs. That's cool. We don't have very much money. We only got 193. I don't know anybody who would greet someone in this situation. Like, if you were in a caged elevator going down and someone else was on a landing, would they necessarily greet you? I don't think they would. I think that's pretty unrealistic. Oh, let's, uh, let's install these. Oh, I thought I saw somebody running, which usually means you're about to get mugged. Oh, and these have discs in there too. Model citizen, who gives a crap? We'll turn this on so somebody enters a password eventually. Okay, so, infiltrator. Increased time citizens are knocked out by 100%. Increased securities... Okay, we're gonna do... We're gonna go with the security system. Um, gain 25 for citizens' passcode. There are twice as many citizens as there are addresses. And increase lock picking speed. Yeah, that's the one I want. Cool. And we need one upgrade, and we can get one upgrade at City Hall. Camera's not looking. I stole so little money, it's not even a fine. Hmm. Fruit. Now that we have some money, we can get a code cracker. Code breaker. These don't work, and I wish they did. Like... At least if you can't talk to him, like if I talk to him, he doesn't say, do you want to buy something? I think that could be an easy fix, because there's... Whatever the hell that was. There's already... If somebody's standing at a... At a restaurant till, uh, you can access it. But it would also be fine if you could, like, click on this menu like you can in the, uh, in the restaurants. I want a code breaker now. How much do I have? I have twenty-two, two hundred and twenty-four dollars. Let's just uh, let's just start with, with one code breaker, and now we will go to another building because the very expensive building on the top floor has more discs and upgrades and stuff than uh, other ones. That's how you know it's a expensive building. It's shaped like this. There's something with the names too, but I don't know. We have to have a place that is at least seventeen or eighteen tall. There we go. So, these four, four, five here. I don't know what this one is. Type atrium. I haven't seen an atrium yet. Okay, so these five here uh, will be fairly expensive apartments, but it'll probably not be upgrade discs. What will be in here is likely diamonds and shit, I think. This is just my guess on four or five city generations. I also have the mic a lot further away from my face, and the gain turned up on it. The corrective gain turned up on it. So maybe that will be a little better. I've been sort of playing with some audio settings. One of the things I wanted to be when I was younger is an audio engineer, but of course that never happened because I went into business and destroyed two of them. <laughs> oh, I also changed the way my computer was. I strapped it to the ceiling. Hopefully, I'm, I'm pointing upwards at nothing, because that's not what the computer is. But uh, hopefully, I will put a picture in there to show you what it looks like. I think it's cool. Ooh, look how much faster that is. Okay. Now, there is no breaker box here. So, let's try disabling this. That was the wrong button. Okay, that doesn't turn that off. Okay, it shut itself off. Now, I'm looking for a panel. Because I am i haven't tried this before, but I'm going to try disabling... No, see... To me, because there's no wires coming out of it, there's no uh, pipe chases coming out of it, I don't think it turns off anywhere in particular. 
Yeah, I think all of these are just independent, so let's ignore that for now. Get back up to, to the top. Okay, I forgot to check to see if there's a thing there. There isn't. Let's turn this on. Wait for the laser to shoot towards this area. And then get inside. Fuck. They need to make those heavier. You need to make those heavier, Dev! Not that the Dev is going to be looking at my videos. There we go. I have a feeling since the last update, the depth of field have changed. I don't like it. I'm lowering it a bit. There, that's better. I don't like that, that sort of fisheye kind of look that it gets sometimes. Okay, there's a laser in there. This person's a murderer. Okay, let's find out where that laser is. Come back this way, come back. Go. Rope? Rope was added. I'm not sure what rope does. Okay, so let's try this password. Nope. And let's try to count up from two. Gotcha. No diamond, but one upgrade. Upgrade's still pretty good. Now, it kind of implies that you're able to get in and out of these vents, but I haven't been able to. I think it might be... Shitty Pipe Dream. Ooh, another sink disc. Perfume. Glass seems to be solid in this game. Like, it doesn't seem like the characters can see through it. You can see through it. Lasers can't see through it. Basically, it's just another texture. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, it doesn't hit me. I think we're about it on here. I'm going to keep the address book because I take address books as tokens for some reason. Oh, I want to know this phone number. I've got the phone number forever and ever and ever. Okay, what loot did we get? We got two discs, doesn't say what they are, and one upgrade, and I still have a code breaker. Let's go install this crap. This is like Thief Simulator now. Okay, so we have cash flow, 10 uh, crowns every two hours. Or gain 50 to installing malware on crunchers. Let's do that one. Street cleaner, fuck you. Bookworm, yeah, that's the one we're gonna go for. And we're not going to install anything just yet because we have the Dove Plus cart. Disc, whatever you want to call it. I think it looks more like a cart. Although I am old. Or is it Dove Plus? There it is. Where is everybody? You're over there. Camera's over there. Let's wait till the camera's not looking at us. One more look over here, that's fine. We'll grab that. Perfect. Let's take a look at these papers. Why people's contracts are sitting out in the open, I will never know. And we'll look at their employment records. Any piece of information you can get is information well used. Okay, let's steal from right beside her. We just really need to focus on that camera and click. There we go. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. I walked in front of her while she was still on alert. You will know the exact height of a citizen. That's, that's good. That's what we need to know. You will know the salary. I don't think that's important. Citizen's age is important. Relationship, I don't think is important. Shoe size, I think is important. Money on them, I don't think is important. And then getting rid of the negative. So I think we're going to go for the first one. Physiological. And we want to get rid of the negatives. 
So we just need one more upgrade to get rid of all of the negatives. Let's hit the rich people again. Because technically that uh, these buildings here are poor people. Anybody else like really hankering for apple pie? I don't know. I think this game has some kind of subliminal messaging to it. Because apparently that's what starch cola is. It's some kind of apple pie additive thing. Like, a soda that tastes like apple pie. I don't know if that would be good. I don't know if that would be bad either, but... I just don't know. They gotta get them all out at once. Secrets ain't no good when the rats are chewing on your tongue. <laughs> I want to hear that entire radio play. I would love to see somebody animate that entire radio play. We might need something to eat soon. Let's eat now. I thought that was a real movie or something. It's not. It's for the game, and I, I love that. Unless, unless they found a movie, or there was a movie that they had in mind that they're repeating everything from, but I don't think so. Because they're mentioning crowns and all of that stuff, and... Paige McGrath. Don't talk. You ain't here to talk. We're gonna listen to that whole thing. Not right now, but some point in the future. We are definitely going to listen to the whole thing. I looked through the um, the streaming files, the, the data, and I, I couldn't find the sound files for it. They're in there somewhere, but they're, like, inside other files and shit like that. And I don't want to use an extractor at this point because it's too much work. Okay, so we are going to install five for each new ex exploration. And I go into ventilation ducts less and less now, so let's just new location. And we'll get rid of the negatives for Duff Plus. Duff Plus. Now all we need is beauty for them to give us more information, and we'll be all set. Is that everything? That's everything. We still need to get some upgrades for our inventory. And I don't know if the rich locations have those. It's possible that each location um, biases one of the different types of uh, upgrades, but we'll continue to hit this place. The the top, the very top levels are the are the best ones for upgrades. Once you start going down, like the second top highest floor, the third highest floor, you just get less and less and less and less. So, getting back to my computer setup, I am now going to put a water cooling system in there, but it's also going to cool down the room. So I'm going to take domestic water just out of the tap. And I'm going to run it through this uh, great big coil that I have. Hopefully I'll put a picture of the coil on the screen now. And that will dump out most of the chill in the uh, fresh water, in the domestic water. So let's say the domestic water is like 1 degree Celsius or something, or 10 degrees Celsius. Bringing the temperature closer to room temperature, a little closer to 21 degrees, which is still fine for the CPU. Because the CPU's operating temperature is normally between 50 and 60 degrees. Above 60 degrees, you're in, you know, a higher thermal profile. Then it'll go through the CPU and then the GPU. Not in series, but off of a header. And then we'll pour back into the system. And depending on what the temperature is on that output, I might recycle it back into blowing air into the room. That skull is staring at me. They're both over here. I've already got the water block for the CPU, and I got a water block for the GPU, but I don't have a cover for the GPU. So the GPU, uh, like the voltage regulator and stuff, will be uncovered, and they won't have any airflow, which could be a bad thing. Well, it is a bad thing. Damn it. Do you want to go somewhere? Here, let me 
Let me do that for you. Oh, I wasn't knocking. I'm I'm not here. I actually don't know if sitting down changes their behaviors, but I'm going to sit down anyways. Okay. I think he was just skitzed out. Okay, he's back in the shower, but he's the only one left in the apartment. It's this one. Bedroom. God, these rich people are slobs, aren't they? The uh, hitbox for hide is very small. Study. Don't just study yet. They've got three bedrooms. Jesus. <gasps> Shit. Okay, so... This guy's asleep. We can snoop around his room. He's going to stay asleep for a while. Okay, he stopped snoring now. We're in a little bit of danger, I think. Did I go into this bedroom? Okay, I've been in this bedroom. I'm going to go down here. I think this is the study. He's got two bathrooms, a lucky fucker. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't really need to. Okay, so it's one of their birthdays as the main password. So 1953. That's it. Just a sync disk. Oh, and here's the last password. And before anybody complains, lots of people store their passwords beside their computers. I had tons of clients who had it on a sticky note on their computer, and they wondered how people got their password. Easy. You invite them over to your house, they see your password on your screen, and then they say, Hmm, I wonder if their, uh, if their banking information is the same. Okay, we've hit everybody on the top level. Do I want to go through the rest of the apartment? I think I do. Just to grab as much information on these people as possible. She came home! Aha, uh -huh, you can't get me. Was that the on only the second place I've hit? Or third place, but second place up here? Bye! You can't identify me because I have no face. Now, the using the domestic water to cool down the computer and the apartment will just be temporary. Like, domestic water still might be the source, but eventually what I want to do is to put a liquid-to-liquid -liquid exchanger in there so that, theoretically, in the future, it can be powered by, you know, air conditioner or, or whatever, like a refrigeration pump or whatever you want. But the internal side, I guess you might call it, will be separate from the, you know, the, the cooling side, the, uh, the actual loop. Okay, what do we got here? We got accident coverage, legal coverage, medical care is now covered. Reduce medical costs from involuntary hospital visits by 50%. You will not lose any stolen items you may possess upon involuntary hospital visits. I think I'm gonna go for this one because I usually don't have shit on me. I'm usually just broken the law or something. Okay, I think that's it. Did I only get one from that visit? I only got one. All of that worked for nothing. Or, that's not nothing, that's an extremely good find. But I need, I need upgrades now. And upgrades you will usually find on lower levels. 
because their their real value is only five thousand credits, crowns, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna go right back up to the same place. Nope. First, we're gonna get something to drink. Where am I gonna get the drinky drinks? And putting that on a uh, refrigerant loop is easy. Like the heat exchanger just has to be made out of like stainless steel and rated for the pressures that the refrigerant would operate at. Now the good thing about that is, is you can use like a, a portable kind of setup where you just say you just use w uh, salt water with um, uh, ice thrown into it. So which one haven't I gone to yet? Have I gone to all of them? Evidence. I've been to this one. I've been to this one. And I've been to this one. So I've been to all three in this building. Well, let's go to the next floor down. And we'll take the elevator with us because it's good cover. You can duck into the uh, to the elevator. Okay, where is the cameras? There are no cameras. Open this up. Now it's 321. Although it probably was to begin with. And I just wasn't paying attention. And I really need to get more lockpicks before I run out of lockpicks and not realize it. Ooh, lots of stuff. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Let's leave the code breaker in there. We'll probably come back for it. Okay, let's put a vial down there for now. We'll grab the code breaker. We'll put the code breaker down and grab the vial. Because we want to keep the vial on us, because it's more valuable. But the code breaker we can leave and come back for, maybe. if you can tie people up with duct tape. I haven't actually tried. It makes sense. You can certainly kill them with a box cutter. Okay, let's get these installed. I think the rewards for all of the things that you're supposed to do, like the missions, are already in here, in these slots, because I have already found the evidence before I take in the, uh, the mission. So I think everything is already pre-generated. Okay, what did we get? We got... Ooh, we've got two inventories. Oh, but this is... Oh, this is such a... Oh, this is such a hard decision. We can be immune to cold. You can no longer get smelly. You can no longer get tired. I've never been tired, though. Or we can get more inventory space. Oh, the inventory space is way more important. Way more important. And so is this. You only get one inventory space, but... Oh, man... That is a hard choice with inventory space, but it really isn't. Citizens are more likely to share information for free. Discount. This one. Now, apparently this might be bugged, this uh, beauty thing. They all might be bugged, actually. It's been reported, but it's not being repaired at the moment. So, look at all those upgrades. Just from an hour's worth of play, an hour, six minutes worth of play, we've got all of these upgrades. We don't have a whole lot of money, but I mean, that's not hard. We only got 11 lockpicks, so let's go grab some more lockpicks. And the upgrades are the important part. Like, nothing else is important. Everything else is just, like, frosting. And you don't really need to worry about money after a very short time. Get more lockpicks. Let's get even more lockpicks. I used to be a detective. Now I sit on a desk. Yeah, I don't believe you used to be a detective. I think this game would be a lot more interesting if you couldn't break the law. Like, if you broke the law and you got caught, you actually went to, like, a My Summer Car-style prison where you actually have to spend your days in there and feed yourself and stuff like that. But that's not how it works. If you have no money and you get caught, you don't spend anything. You don't get a penalty. You only get a penalty if you've got a lot of money, and, you know, at that point, it really doesn't matter. Okay, let's uh, break this pers person's house open. Ooh, diamond. We got our first diamond. I don't think going through the trash is worth it. If you could wash your hands instead of having to take a shower, um, I think that might be a little bit better, but because you actually have to find a shower and take a shower and all that kind of bullshit, I don't think it's worth it. I don't do it. I almost never find anything in there. 
So what's the point? I'm gonna turn off all the lights, put everything the way it was. So they never know that I've been here and stole their stuff. Here's somebody trying to get through. Let's let them through. Okay, well, let's install what we have and fence the diamond. Maybe we'll fence the, fence the diamond first. Mm, okay, doggy. And let's figure out where the pawn shop is. Pawn shop is denoted by a stack of books. But since we can't see the books all the time, you can just right mouse button and go open evidence and it'll tell you what the what the business is. There's the books. Let's fence the diamond. Hi, how are you? Yes, you can help me. I have this diamond that my ex doesn't want anymore. Could you buy it? Thank you. Ooh, that's giving me 1900 bucks. Now I can go in their back room and rip it off, but I won't. Not right now. Okay, so uh, it's the medical insurance stuff, so we can't actually take that twice. Can we? Let's go. No, we can't. I already know we can't. I don't know why I'm doing this. Yeah, see, it won't install. So let's install more capacity. We need more storage capacity. See? Lots of stuff now. We can sell that sand disc, that sink disc. But first, what I think we're going to do is we're going to rob the pawn shop. Go back to the pawn shop. Pawn shop, pawn shop, pawn shop. Going back to the pawn shop. Going to steal them blind. Now let's see if there's a password up here. There is not. There is hairpin. There is a password. 8487. This one has a helpful little thing over here, but not all of them do. Shit, there's someone back there. God damn it. Can I steal stuff from behind his back? No, I can't. I probably could, but I'm not going to try. So let's just fence the uh, the Solon um, sink disc, which is not going to be very much. See, it only gives $50 for that. Confirm. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. So we have made ourselves some money to get ourselves set up, and we've upgraded ourselves fairly well. Now let's fill out our kits. I'll go in here. Okay, so we want a camera, because I like having a camera, and a trudgeon, because I like having a trudgeon, and we'll pick this back up. Okay, and then we will grab two sets of handcuffs, because whenever the spouse is around, it's just easier to have two handcuffs, and we still got two spots free that can be expanded to four spots if we have a, um, if we get some upgrades. And we could probably get some upgrade vials here. Like just spending some time breaking into, um, into lockers and, and into people's desks and things like that. We could probably get the rest of the vials uh, to upgrade everything. But uh, that will have to be another time because I've already played for like an hour and a half. And usually that means I've got a little under an hour of me not talking footage. I like this game. I've been playing it a lot lately. I played the missions, the, the the main murder three or four times now, and I've had 20 murders on top of that. And I really like taking um, the arrest warrants because the arrest warrants are completely random. And it's something that you can do that's not sleazy, like, you know, humiliating somebody or corporate espionage or something like that. So definitely going to play more of this. I don't know if I'll make videos because it doesn't seem to be a spectator game. It doesn't seem like, like, eh, this just shows you like some neato stuff to, uh, like I said at the beginning, I don't do tutorials, but this is, you know, pretty much a tutorial. And a lot of the videos that do really well are tutorials, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I really don't. I'm not a YouTuber, and I figured out a way to prove to you that I'm not a YouTuber. Go to my info page, my about me page. There's no, uh, there's no email address there. I can't be contacted to be sent keys. I can't be persuaded in any way. There is really no way for anybody except for YouTube to contact me 
And every time YouTube sends me something to do something with, I ignore it. And when I mean like YouTube sending me stuff, they send me surveys and things like, how is the platform treating you? Very shitty, thank you. I don't know, see you later. A copper. A copper. How do you like that, boys? A copper. And his name is Fallon. And we went for it. I went for it. Treated him like a kid brother. I was going to split 50-50 with a copper.